I met the ballroom boys. and welcome to a Martin Meets, uh, first one of these since Comic-Con and on Tuesday the 1st of October I went with my mum to see the Ballroom Boys at the King's Theatre in Southsea and we had a meet and greet and um, the Ballroom Boys are former Strictly stars Ian Waite and Vincent Simone. Uh, if you watch my videos you know I am a big Strictly fan, I make no bones about it Ian's a big favourite of mine, especially since he danced with Zoe Ball, who is one of my favourite people ever. And Vincent is another favourite, he's always entertaining to watch. I have seen him live before in one of his shows with his dance partner Flavia. Um, but we didn't meet him. But yes, as soon as this was announced, you know, we don't go to many of the Strictly shows. But this one had that appeal to it. So he went along. Uh, we. As is common with these things, we didn't receive instructions until the day before about what time we needed to be there, etc. But we headed over to South Sea. We had to be there um, to start at 6, so we had to be there by 10 2. So we ambled over, we got there in plenty of time. We had a little walk around South Sea first, and then headed in and had our name ticked off and waited. And then at 6 o'clock, there was about 20 of us in total, were uh, taken round to. Uh, as most of you, if not all of you, will be unfamiliar with the King's Theatre. Uh, it is on the corner of two roads and the entrance is sort of on the corner. Uh, if you go in that way, it takes stairs up to the circle and up a circle, etc. And you can go round and downstairs to the stalls. Alternatively, along the road, there is an entrance to the stalls. So what they did, the meet and greet was to be in the stalls bar so they took us out and walked us along the road and in that way um, so we all wandered in and then we sort of queued up and they let a few in, into the bar at a time so we weren't all crowded together and rushed um, so we just gradually queued up and when the time, 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 <laughs> when the time came uh, we walked into the bar and Ian and Vincent were at a table at the end of the bar as you will see with picture behind them and you know, um, advertising pictures behind them they're at a table um, there's some flyers there and they were signing they had photos ready that they were signing and they weren't personalizing but they were sort of signing them as you approached so you could see they were being signed uh, came to our turn we went up mum headed straight to Vincent and started swooning over him she shook his hand and said oh be still my beating heart um, and we all had a laugh about that. Uh, Ian leant over to me and shook my hand and then eventually we sort of crossed and shook hands. We had a brief little chat, nothing deep or, you know, majorly fascinating, but just down to earth chat. Uh, then we went round and had photos taken. Uh, we used, I had some taken and mum had, had some taken on her phone. And he took four on mine and I think he did the same on her, so we had plenty of shots, they all look exactly the same. So I'll just pop one of them up, but this is the photo of us together. And then, I say they pass us a signed photo, so this is it. And that was it, headed out. I wished them, said, you know, have a good show, and they thanked me profusely. And we left, and um, then we had about half an hour to go before the show, well, before the doors opened. Well, it was a bit less than half an hour, but anyway, so we wandered down to the public toilets, to, and then came back, and it was about 10 minutes, we had to wait then, and then the doors opened, and we went up, bought a programme, sat in the bar, had a drink, had a little chat with a lady who came along, and then doors opened, so we went down and had our front row seats, and all along the front row there were roses left on the seats, plastic roses. And they came into force later. Um, they did a, a ballet routine which was hilarious and we had to throw them on stage. The roses on stage at the end of that. Um, but yeah, really entertaining show, lots of different dance styles done, lots of very funny banter, some of it quite near the knuckle as well. 
supporting dancers were excellent and nice bit of eye candy for me. Um, I had a singer, uh, James Lomas, who was one of the original Billy Elliot's on stage. And he, he sang and danced, sometimes on his own, sometimes as part of the routines. He was very good. And we had the added bonus that Craig Revel Hallwood was in the audience. Um, we spotted him at the interval. He suddenly, where we were at the front, he suddenly walked past us and that's Craig. And he stopped and signed for a lad, a young lad, on his way out. And then he obviously went backstage to see the guys. And then he came back at the end of the interval and he sort of went round the back this time. But he stopped and he had selfies and what have you with some people. And he was, you know, happy to pose, if you like. Uh, but then they did a Q&A. At the start of the second half, they sort of said, oh, and we've got Craig in the house. And then at the start of the Q&A, they sort of joked, you know, don't ask us our opinions on the judges since Craig's here. But somebody did ask him, who's your favourite judge? So they started, oh, and Craig, he was on the aisle seat anyway. So he came down and just stood with something. Yeah, leaned over the barriers, you know, who is your favourite judge? And you know, it's a nice added bonus. But yeah, really good show. Highly recommend checking it out if you're a Strictly fan. And really nice guys to meet. Um, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on another one. Thanks. Bye.